The eastern kingbird is one of the largest examples of the tyrant. The eastern kingbird is one of the largest rep... Kingbirds are well known for being absolutely unreasonably aggressive, especially when it comes to territory. I personally have seen them pursuing migrating purple martins that were hanging out at least 100 meters above their territory. Fire name also comes from that little hidden orange crown on their head. Adorable. Like all the other flycatchers, and as the name would imply, kingbirds are aerial insectivores, catching insects on the wing by actively pursuing them. However, not an enormous amount is known about their physiology, mainly because they're maneuverable enough to largely avoid any mist nets. So they're not caught very frequently. That means this guy's quite exciting. Once again, I don't really have much prepared because this capture caught us by surprise and it wasn't one we were expecting. So I will do most of the rest of the commentary in post. The aggressiveness of the kingbird is truly legendary and is reflected in unsurprising manner in its Latin name, Tyrannus Tyrannus, in the family Tyrannidae. I'm sensing a bit of a theme here. Most of the tyrant flycatchers are named for the imperious looking upright stance they take while perched and surveying for food, but kingbirds clearly take that a bit too seriously. As far as aerial insectivores go, they have a surprisingly generalist diet. They prefer larger insect prey, which goes with their size, but they'll take bees and wasps just as happily as they'll take beetles and dragonflies. For the most part, they prefer more open habitat with lots of potential perches and can usually be found along fence lines or perched on shrubs. As you may have also noticed, this was a particularly uncooperative bird. Fortunately, I came up with a perfect way to commemorate its imperious demands for release. Enjoy. We tried. 